Thank you for stopping by and checking out the Dark Crypt. This is a resin building and this produces fog. Now this is very similar to the Fog Monster, but as you can see, it's a resin building. It's about four by four on the top, five by five on the bottom, and it's wonderfully sculpted. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in here. This was hand sculpted by Lorenzo Marchetto of Manor House Workshop. So you can see that he took a lot of cues from the Renaissance design here. Let's go ahead and jump inside of it and see what it looks like. So inside here we have the fog riser is what we call this. Now this is the same thing that's in the fog monster. You'll notice there's a pump here and there's an ultrasonic transducer here. Sometimes this will come loose during shipping. So if it does, just make sure you push it back on before you put it back in and put water inside the building. So what's left to do, let's give it a test run and see how long it takes to make fog. So we'll put the roof back on here. It's very important that you do that. You can't run this without the roof on it because water will come flowing out the top if you do. So let's review. We have a 24 volt power supply here. We have five volts over here. So you never want to plug that black plug into the 24 volt. You only want to put it in the five volt power supply and the white one in here. Now, if we were to take the roof off and pour water in from the top, it's really not a very good idea because this water level right here is where you want to be. So I would suggest that you put it in the front like this. So let's just go ahead and we'll pour some of that bottle in there, maybe about half of that bottle. And let's go ahead and plug it in and see how long it takes to make fog. So you can see the effect is almost instantaneous and you notice how it's coming out on all four sides. And the really cool effect here is it's like dry ice, but of course you don't have the expense of dry ice. And this is a four by four table. It's really filling this table up nicely. And this is really just made for game terrain because this is gonna creep and crawl across that terrain. It's gonna really look fantastic. So this has been a brief overview. We hope that you like this. Make sure to tune into the other videos that we have and we're gonna get into some of the details on how you can make your fog monster work great with your game terrain.